Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today we'd like to show you this new type of craft product. This is an exciting new product. It's called Diamond Art and Leisure Arts has some kits available but also you can get some kits through Amazon from other manufacturers too. This is one that we did from Diamond or from Leisure Arts and this is their B and as you can see this is the finished product and I framed it. It doesn't come with a frame. You, you can buy the frame separately. But I think you can kind of see how it sparkles in the, in the light. So th that's what these gems do. They sparkle and you know, reflect light off of them so then it gives it a nice look to your picture. So this was our first one the bee and it was fun to do. My daughter really really she took over doing the whole thing after a few minutes I was doing the beginning of it and then all of a sudden she's like let me try it and she took over and finished the whole thing for me so I wanted to try another pattern. This is another kit I purchased and it has cherry blossoms on it and this kit comes with everything you need to do it, to do the project, except for the frame. We're not sponsored by Diamond Art or anybody on this project. We have we genuinely tried out this project product on our own and decided that it was something we'd like to share with all of you. If you'd like to help us keep creating new videos and like this one, please go to our website through the link in the iCard or the description of the video and look for more pictures of this project and links where you can purchase these kits through Amazon. If you purchase the kits through Amazon we get a small commission. They, it does not cost you any more to purchase it through our links. It's the same price but we get a small commission and that helps us to keep making more videos like this one. So let's open this up and see What's inside? So it comes with a simple set of instructions. And this is the canvas. And it's actually a canvas type of fabric with the pattern on it. And so you can see that there's all different markings on here that shows which color to place in which position. On the side here is a color chart that shows that matches up with what's on the actual printing here. And also this matches up with the gems that we have. Now you can see the the canvas, because it was rolled, is all rolling up and we need to try to make it flat. So one way we can start by rolling it the other direction. And that works pretty well. The other way you can sometimes get it to flatten out is by taking up the piece of plastic. So the other things that come with the kit is everything you need to do it. And all the, we even bought a kit that is not from Leisure Arts and it came with all the same types of the same stuff or something very close. So what we have here is these are all the gems and they're all labeled so you can see they have the A06, A07, A08 and those numbers match with what is all printed on the canvas here. So here's A06 is this, A07, A08 so it has all the different so they're very clearly identified on which color goes where. This is an awful lot like the paint by number kits 
except that you're not using paint, you're using these um, little diamond gems. So this is what else comes with the kit. Leisure Arts includes these little baggies to put your gems in once you're finished or you know as you're working you can put the leftover we put the leftover gems in to these and then the one thing I will say is the kit that we got that was not from Leisure Arts did not contain little bags like this you also have this little tray which is used to hold the gems while you're working on them It also comes with this applicator tool and this is just a little thing to make it easier to hold the tool so I can slide this on here. So this little applicator tool, this is what you use to pick up the gems and place them in place. This is also comes with the kit and this comes in different ways. This is the first one I've seen in a nice little container like this but this is wax which is used, you, you apply the wax to the end of the applicator when you start before you start to apply and you only have to put the wax on every once in a while but you uh, you do this and you press, press into the wax with your applicator and then that primes the applicator now when you're not using the applicator in between when you finish you want to cover it with plastic wrap or maybe stick it in one of these little baggies, the tip of it, to so that the wax doesn't dry out all over all on that. And I can close the wax. The other wax that we got with this with this kit was just a little piece of wax that didn't have a little container. So this is a nice little container. I like this. I don't know if that's a difference between the beginner kit and the intermediate kit or what, but it's, it's not necessary to have it in a little container. Your wax, you want to, again, wrap it in like plastic wrap or something, or maybe put it in a little baggy when, baggy when you are not using it. So you want it to be covered up so it doesn't dry out. So down here in the corner, I can start with these, with the brown that goes for the stem of the plant and the letter on some of these are T and there's some that are D or no it's a little square so that matches to this T over here and this little square here see because it's brown with a T and this is like a lighter brown with the square so that's AO2 and AO3 usually we want to start with one color at a time because if you put a whole bunch of colors into your tray, you might not be able to tell them apart. Tell them apart. So the AO2 here matches is what is listed next to the T color on my chart here. I'm going to cut it open and pour a few out onto my into my tray. Now I've already primed my applicator with the wax so it's ready to go and the little facets if you look hopefully you can see and it's not blurry the little facets there's a flat side and then a rounded side that's got the different cuts kind of like a diamond is cut. You want to pick, pick them up from the top with your applicator. So as you can see I can just tap them, touch them and it will uh, it will stick. And it sticks pretty well. Now ones that are upside down I can kind of flip around and pick up. So the first row here shows me the T. So and that's the color that I have in my tray right now. So I just pick it up from the rounded side and place it as close as I can onto the circle where the where the mark is. And I'll place the second one. 
and you just kind of press down slightly to make sure it sticks. So there's the first three plates. So we just keep uh, placing the color down and you're going to want to do a whole section with the same color at, this, at once so you don't mix up your colors. Now say you pr put one in the wrong place like I just put that and that was actually a square spot. You can, they will come back off but you don't want to, the, the more you place them in the wrong place over and over again, I'm sure it will get less sticky. So you don't want to make a mistake in the same place especially too much. But they are, you are able to move them. This can be a really fun family project. If you get a good sized picture to do. Everybody can take a different section and be working on it. You might need to get a couple extra trays and applicators, but once you've bought a couple of these patterns, you get a tray and an applicator with each one, so you can you start to collect them up. See, now that one I kind of got it a little bit out of place, but I can just slide it right into place. Now, when you're done with this color, you can, you know, put them into the baggie and the your little tray here has a nice little funnel that will funnel them all in ease nicely into the bag. So that's a nice feature of the tray is to have that. So once you're done with the one color, then you can continue on to another color. And so right now we have, that's AO2, and AO3 is the little square. So now I'm just filling in where it has the square. And if you have start to have some problems picking up them, the little dot, the gems, then you just add some more, you know, apply some more wax and keep and continue on. So when I'm done with working on it for today or for this session, you always want to make sure you recover your work with the plastic. To this protects it from the stickiness from getting dust on it or anything and um, keeps it from getting you know other things on it too. When you finish for the day you're going to want to keep track of which colored gems or in which baggie because you don't want to get them mixed up and they're kind of hard to tell apart when they're really close in color. So I have all these gems in this bag and I want to record both these numbers on the bag somehow. You can do this in a few different ways. You can just cut this out off the bag and either tape this to the front of your tape it to the front of your bag, baggie, or you can stick it inside so you can see it from the inside. So I will be back later once I've completed this beautiful project. Another tip I forgot to share with you was that we for doing this diamond art, it's really good to have some good light to see all these little symbols. This is one of my art lights and I really like using this light for this project because I can stick it on the corner and have it shining right down onto the project to illuminate all this, especially if I'm doing it in the evening. Hi, I'm back and it's been a couple days since I've been working on putting the gems onto the picture. As you can see I have almost all of it complete here. I have a little bit section left here and I have a small section left here, which I wanted to give you a few tips that I found while I was working on this. So what I found is as I've been filling in, it's easier to fill them in if you follow all the same color in a row and go across the row or column. 
and fill in. You don't want to skip around unless it's a different color of course but I have these check marks I'm filling in here with this color and I just oops, I filled across that row and now I'm going to fill across the row next to it and sometimes when you're putting them in they you know you'll put them in and maybe one will shift the ones next to it they will shift around uh, for you to push down and and put in the next one if they're a little bit out of place you want to make sure you try to center your dots gems right on the mark as well as you can and I'm picking up all the gems that are face up the ones that are with the flat side facing me I'm not picking those up right now and then once I run out of ones or get low on ones that are facing upwards then I will I tap and try not to spill but I tap on the uh, tray and a lot of times a bunch of them will turn over and if you start having problems picking them up then you just take your wax and dip your applicator into the wax some more and then you should be able to pick them up again so that was the end and I finished all of the the dots on this one I'll zoom out and there's my finished project the last step that the instructions say to do on this one it did not tell me to do that this on the instructions for the B but on this one it says to cover the pattern with your plastic again and roll over it with a rolling pin so I will do that next the rolling pin is to make sure that all of the dots or gems are adhered to the glue on the backing of the design so we just want to make sure they are pressed in and that none are loose so then our project is finished at this point I can get a frame and frame it similar to what we did this one and to frame it all I did was trim down the edges along here and I used a spray a spray adhesive to ad, to glue it to the backing in the frame we'll have some samples of frames and these patterns for you on our website so be sure to click through to our website from the iCard or the link in the description of the video so you can um, look at these patterns I think this is a really great gift for Christmas as I said before and it, it's a fun craft this is another one that my daughter is working on it's it's a sky scene and it has this tree in the middle and it's a darkened sky with some clouds in the background and it's I think it will be pretty once this one is done but and she's been working mainly on putting all the same color down and all over the place before she uh, changes to her next color I hope you enjoyed learning about this new craft diamond art and that you'll think about purchasing a kit for yourself and try it out. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Click on the iCard or the link in the description of this video to find the links to follow us and more information about this craft. Visit our website needlepointers.com for more craft tutorials and projects.